This is the anterior cingulate. And we want to focus on the structure of the brain for the moment. It is operationally developed into two parts a functionality that has only recently been uncovered. We are now certain that the anterior cingulate is divided into two separate zones of functionality. There is an upper zone and a low zone. The upper zone is responsible for aiding your decision making during social conflicts in a rather logical, reasonable fashion. i.e., what should be my course of action in this difficult situation? It is a judgment making, decision making, wrought out from a very dispassionate vantage point. Passion is far removed, logic and reason govern this process. For example, let's say you are considering an action that will have far-reaching social consequences for you now and in the future. This statement of uh, the anterior shingle rate will logically, dispassionately reason as follows. What should be my response in the difficult situation that has origin on my job? Shall I pursue course X or shall I pursue course Y? This far removed, this passionate, this close is a representative of the upper anterior shingle ray. There is another segment of our anterior cingulate equally involved in the process leading to the final resolution of conflict. It is the lower segment of the anterior cingulate. It serves as a control mechanism of the limbic system. It argues more forcefully insistently. Why? Because it is controlling the limbic system, which is quite forceful and insistent. Physically, it has actions extending into the limbic system. And therein lies the connection. The limbic system? Could you tell me a bit more about this limbic system? The limbic is the system in our brain that deals with all our primitive emotions of low anger, primeval fury, sexual impulse, aggression, and phobias. The limbic system is also the source of great pleasure, enjoyment, sports, activities. It just needs to be carefully regulated by the anterior cingulate, or like Nero, will burn down the city of love for our own personal artistic inspiration. And so by consequence of association, it, the low part of our anterior cingulate, is by nature more passionately oriented. You are considering a kind of behavior that has the potential of catapulting you into a maelstrom of conflict. The immediate consequences of the action may be a mountain of pressure, 
while the long term ramifications may be chilling. We have seen such a phenomenon in the lives of famous religious leaders, Jimmy Swagger, Ted Haggard. So, in summation, the anterior cingulate is responsible for overseeing this conflict. It provides you additional time to think it over and reconsider. And then gives you the opportunity to execute behavior that is in your long-term best interest as opposed to short-term interest. But the lower structure of the anterior shingulate also plays a key role. How? In what way? In the resolution of the problem, when there is emotional conflict and passion involved. That's confusing, doctor. Could you give me an example? Sure. Quite easily. A young lady appeared in my office one day. She said that on her job, the bosses were super boss and were always unkind and critical of her behavior. And that the clients who were always coming into the office were unusually stupid and impossible to deal with. She told me that one day a client called to say that he would be, he would be a little late for his appointment. Naturally, I was furious. How dare you show up late for an appointment, she said. Have you no responsibility? Do you think we have nothing to do but wait on you like restaurant workers? Well, she said, later, my boss had a nerve to criticize me for speaking that way to his favorite client. I was beside myself, she said. After all that I have done for you, you stab me in the back with unfair criticism. Well, she told me I resigned my position immediately, right on the spot. Oh, she said, I don't know what to do. The world is so unfair to me. So I said, well, maybe it might have been a good idea to have listened carefully to the constructive criticism and no sooner did those words leave my lips when she jumped up and began screaming at me, saying, I, in good faith, come to your office seeking help and you won't even believe me, but take the side of my unfair, cruel boss? How dare you? How could you do this to me? At which point, she stormed, heatedly, out of the office, cursing as she went. It is quite possible that this woman's anterior shingulate was functionally inoperative. Prone to sudden rages, yelling, screaming, and cursing, totally impatient with others, unable to control anger. She was unable to control her temper at all. 
because of that she lost her job lost her chance to get help and is endangering her very sanity so the lower structure of the anterior cingulate has scarred against emotional outbursts that will place us in difficult compromising situations we'll pursue discussion on this matter in the future but for now let's end today's lecture this is dr tom from ulsan